Hello everyone, my name is Robin McIntyre and I'm the Clinical Nurse Educator in Oncology at Ballarat Health Services and I'm going to show you how to take blood from a port. However, this being a port, we still use the same procedure for a peripherally inserted central catheter or a, a, otherwise known as a PIC. So first, um, what we need to do of course is clean our trolley and assemble our equipment. We do need to have an authorised pathology slip from the doctor in order to um, establish what kind of blood tests we're going to do. And we do need to collect in, in order of draw, which I'll talk about. Because we are actually accessing the central line, we do need to flush following the procedure. So of course I need to identify my patient, um, go to the bedside, introduce myself, and um, seek their permission to perform the procedure. And of course, we need to use a minimum of three patient identifiers to ensure that we have the right patient. So here on the trolley, I have my um, pathology equipment. Now, depending on what has been ordered, we may need to collect blood cultures. In this case, of course, we'll need to bring our blood culture bottles and our corresponding vacutainer to size. They need to be collected first. And where we actually routinely take five mils of blood off first, that first five mil becomes our aerobic specimen. So don't discard, that becomes our first. Then we collect our anaerobic blood culture specimen and then our other blood parameters depending on what's been ordered. Generally, patients will be ordered LFTs, UNEs and FBE. So in that case, we collect from our yellow tube and then our purple tube. And then we must flush. If you prefer to use um, syringes, that's okay. But keep in mind to use your non-touch technique to protect your key parts and use your transfer device to ensure um, you minimise the chance of needle stick injury. However, most times we actually collect using the vacutainer. So certainly we need to scrub the hub for 15 seconds and allow that to dry. And we use the blunt vacutainer needles, which I will show you as I assemble them how that works. So of course, I'm going to do my hand wash and set up my equipment. We use the Clonel um, 2% chlorhexidine and 70% isopropyl alcohol swabs for our medical devices. If we obtain pre-filled normal saline syringes, this, this part of the procedure will be reduced in time. You can use your package, as long as you don't open it too far to protect your key part, that's fine. Now we do need to scrub the top of the uh, black culture bottles because they are not sterile. So just remove the lids. Okay. 
open up your Clonel wipe and scrub the top for 15 seconds. Using your non-touch technique, open up your vacutainer needle. Pop that into the vacutainer. Just loosen the top and have it ready to go. And now you're ready. Make sure you have everything ready to go in sequence. You're ready to collect your blood. Really important to make sure you go open up your uh, swab, Clonel swab, scrub the top of the neutron connector as well as around the sides. Again for 15 seconds and we must let it dry for 15 at least. Now protecting your key parts using your non-touch technique, we are going to connect our vacutainer to the neutron. At Ballarat Health Services, our connector isn't lower lock, so we do need to support it with our hand. Like so. And now we can collect our first anaerobic Blood culture. We need to collect a minimum of 10 mils. If you collect more, that's fine. Just keep an eye on your external measurement there on the bottle. Once you've collected enough, remove. Collect your anaerobic in the same fashion. Remove and just collect in your order of draw. Once you've collected all your bloods, now you can remove your vacutainer. This stage you may need to actually scrub the hub again, depending on how contaminated it is. Again, allow it to dry. Using your pulsatile technique, your stop-start motion, and once you get to half a mil, do your positive pressure clamping, 
and you have now completed blood sampling. So once we've completed our blood sampling, of course we need to complete our pathology slip, complete our pathology tubes at the bedside and then send to pathology.